time is the Russian due in? Two o'clock. Mr. Chan said we should be very careful. The KGB will stop at nothing to get him back. You don't suppose they're going to try one of their fake reception committee stunts, do you? I doubt it. They pull that on Bruno. An old intelligence operative like him would spot that trick in a second. So far, they've answered all our signals. Good. He doesn't suspect a thing. This is like taking candy from a baby. I can't believe the CIA haven't interfered with us yet. You don't suppose we've been overestimating them? Welcome to freedom, Mr. Bruno. Thank you very much. Please watch your step, sir. We're not out of danger yet. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. and thank Goodbye. you, my friends. What's going on? I don't understand. I still have problems with the but we can't afford to get Hands up! Stop that gun! Just keep moving towards the car, sir. We'll keep those two covered. Good news for you, Colonel. Your man was safely intercepted at the last minute. So I've heard. <laughs> He's on his way to Washington right now. That's well. Don't let me interrupt you. Do sit down. That was a close one. I knew you'd bring it off. Nobody suspected they'd try that old trick. <laughs> Don't laugh. It almost worked. Oh, would you please have this film developed at the usual drugstore? Certainly, sir. We certainly appreciate all you've done for us. We of the Chinese-American community are proud to serve our adopted And the country. money's not bad either. Mr. Brunev, you were in charge of the insurgency program for the KGB. Have some kind of secret weapon. Bullets, but plenty of dead adversaries. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling this technique you've been using isn't all that new. As a matter of fact, you have hit the nail right on the head. Then basically, is at the modern technique of auto-suggestion to the ancient Chinese martial arts. The result is a human killing machine. Of course, the men have to be in a perfect physical condition and completely trained in a wide variety of different fighting styles. What about the auto-suggestion? We have developed a method by which, uh, by which you might say the fighters can put themselves in a kind of hypnotic trance. In this operation, only the killer instinct they remain alert. They even lose their sex drive? Uh, so mm -hmm. would you in that state. You've certainly supplied us with a wealth of information. I'm pleased to help the cause of free. It's good to have you aboard, sir. Thank you. That was pretty mind-blowing, sir. You guys are really on the ball. Thank you for it's the It's an honor to be associated with a professional like you. Thank you. Now, how about some real American hospitality? You're very kind. I'll bet you're hungry after that long session. Well... Where the hell are the security guards? Right at our front door. Is this your idea, Freedom? I tell you, heads are gonna roll for this. How in blazes did they get a sniper on the CIA lawn? I don't believe it. One of our own people. Here's a file on that killing, but as far as we're concerned, that Russian never set foot in the United States. Stop making faces, Sanders. This is the CIA. Sometimes we play rough. I know. Now we're supposed to find ways and means of copying this Russian fighting technique. 
I don't know who this we is you're talking about. You're the martial arts expert. Would you please Easy, tell me boy. where I'm supposed to find a... Easy, Sanders. Ours not the reason why. How about paying a call on that venerable gentleman who taught you all you know, the Chinese connection? All right. I know when I'm licked. If you can't stand the heat, then get out of the kitchen. What the man said. I'll get back to you on this one. I sure hope he can help us. Hold it. This is private property. You don't want your face rearranged. You get lost. Listen, if you'd hold these for a second, I can prove I'm a friend of the boss. Oh, you call that fighting? You guys never learn, do you? Oh, Not so fast, Buster. Hold, who goes there? Not another beginner. Pleasant dreams. Where's Mr. Chan? Right in back of you, turkey. I thought you were a fighter. What's this flower <laughs> color? Huh? Watch. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, devil, you haven't changed. Something nice for your lapel. Now then, to what do I owe the honor of your visit? I'm on a confidential mission for the agency. We've just discovered the Russians have developed a new technique of martial arts. Oh, there's nothing new about that technique. We've known about it for centuries. As a matter of fact, there's a man teaching that technique right here in the United States. His name is John Liu. Right here? Well, not exactly around the corner. He has a school somewhere in the suburbs of Santa Barbara. He calls his technique Zen Kwan Do. He's a real hotshot, champion of the world twice. He and his brother are native-born Americans. He served in Vietnam. When he got out, he said he was so disgusted with war, he never wanted anything to do with the military again. Since then, he's become a pretty good tournament fighter. All the belts, championships, you know. It's ironic, his identical twin brother is still serving in the military. Something to do with a liaison in the Far East. Far East? I suggest we bring him home on a recruiting mission. This time, Destiny got there before we did. The twin was injured in a car accident. He's recuperating on his brother's rant right now. Well, how's the patient doing? Okay. It takes more than a car accident to put me out of commission. Right. Being tough's an old family tradition. Listen, I thought about what you told me last night. You know how I feel about war. I think you're going to have to be the patriotic member of the family. John, I wasn't asking you if you'd like to get involved with the CIA. I was telling you what you're going to have to do. You know how Uncle Sugar is. No way he's going to take no for an answer. <laughs> he's not going to get a yes out of me. I'm looking out for number one. <laughs> What's a goddamn funny? For a guy who's been all over the world, you're awfully naive. If the government wants your services, they know how to make you volunteer. Not this boy. I wouldn't be so sure of myself. <laughs> Even a macho like you has his weaknesses. Blow it out <laughs> your ear, brother dear. <laughs> You'll see. Take my word for it. You won't win this one. I win them all. Put down the groceries, honey. You're coming with me. Oh, 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 oh. Get your hands yeah. off me, you low oh, creep. Oh! 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 Get her. oh, please help me. Those men are trying Never. to molest me. You, huh? you, you stay out of this, Mac. Going my way? Oh! Oh! oh. Take yourself, run! Oh! oh. Come on, let's get out of here. I live just round the corner. Come on. Talk about a night in shining armor. You've got a great place here. My brother and I were really lucky to find it here. Thanks. I just don't know how to thank you. Nonsense. Don't bother. Well, it's a wonderful day. You want to go for a swim with me? Mm -mm. I'll just sit mm -hmm. here for a minute. You go ahead. 
No, don't be shy. If there's anything you want, you just say the word. Mm -hmm. I'll just enjoy the view for the moment. This place must cost your brother an arm and a leg. He's in the service. They pick up the rent bill. Oh. Enjoy your coke. I just want to dry off. Going anywhere, friend. Uh, now I get it. You're the CIA recruiter. My name is Sanders. I've been assigned to tell you Uncle Sam wants you. We need a man with your abilities in the organization. You don't say. <laughs> We're starting a very ambitious martial arts program, and we want you to be in charge. Who, me? No way. I'm not interested. Can I see that? You are good. Listen, will you stop playing games with me? You just do your job and I'll do mine. I can prove I've done my military service. I've got better things to do with the rest of my life than get mixed up in foreign intrigue here. Thanks. Mr. Liu, you're an intelligent man. And you should have realized by now that's not an invitation, it's an order. If the police find out what you were doing with my wife, hmm, Sam Quentin Express. Your wife? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you know? So that's where it's at. I don't know why I thought you guys played fair. There's an old Chinese saying, if you can't win, there's no point in playing. We like to win. Now, why don't you go back to your house and say goodbye to your brother? My brother? I should have known. Bastard. Mr. Liu? Yes? Welcome. Major Sanders is expecting. Thanks. Home sweet home. Thanks for the ride. You can do better than that. Harder! Okay, next guy. I gotta warn you, you got a new coach coming. He'll teach you the meaning of work. Hold that steady. <clears throat> you call that steady? <clears throat> Every one of these guys is an honors graduate from a major college, and they're all well-trained in the traditional stuff. Knives, handguns, rifles. They're all in good physical condition. It's up to you to make good martial arts fighters out of them. Think you can? How do you do? I'm Dr. Stark. They call me the brain backer. I'm in charge of the computer system. Yes. If you want to check any of the personnel records, all you have to do is come see me. Or one of my assistants can help you. Hmm? Caroline, this is John. What a happy coincidence. I was just showing John around the data processing system. John's the new martial arts coach. Better watch out for him. He's a real killer. Oh, God. Now, Caroline here is the lady with all the secrets. She's got her fingers on everyone's most intimate details. Dear, why don't you show John around? You're welcome to pry into most people's private lives. But please don't ask to, to see any top secret material. Of course not. Lead the way. John, why don't we start with the usual stuff? Place of birth? John, I hope you appreciate this is a top security installation. It would not be in your interest or ours if I authorized you full access to all the All restricted areas are clearly marked. Hmm. Well, I won't have much time for exploration anyway, will I? Fine. This way. Yeah! 
I said I don't want to hear one word out of your mouth. Please! You've got to stop it! I can't stand this torture! We've all got to go through this endurance training. It's the only way to help you listen. You think that's painful? Wait till the enemy gets you. You'll wire your balls for sound. You don't get your act together here, you're a dead man. Now brace yourself, man. I'm upping the voltage. Compared to what the other side will give you, this is nothing but a children's game. And there's no getting out of it. Someday you'll be grateful. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I've been watching you guys train. I think you stink. Sergeant! Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, sir? Uh, college graduates. A bunch of hillbillies. What is this? Why are these men barefoot? All the Chinese fighters we've seen in the movies took their shoes off first, sir. Can the joke. <laughs> Shut up, Wong. <laughs> you work for the Playboy Club? If you think it's too long, I guess I could take off an inch or two. It all goes, sitting bull. <laughs> At ease, clown. <laughs> you guys really think you're... Hot stuff. to help me. When you got me into that CIA unit, you didn't tell me I was going to be tortured. Those people are crazy. Mr. Chan, have you heard one word that I said? Huh? You've got to get me out of that unit. If there's one thing I hate, it's a coward. Endurance training is all part of the standard program. If you can't take a little punishment, don't come crying to me. This was more than punishment. I tell you, if you don't get me out of there, I'll kill you. Sit down. Stop it immediately. I want you to return to the camp. Forget it. Listen. I won't stand any back chat from cowards. The rest of you return to the house. So you want to kill me? I'm not afraid. You haven't got enough courage to kill a mosquito. Don't make me do it. And could you do me a favor? Sure, what is it? The colonel needs a printout on Johnny Wong. The guy with the long hair? That's the one. You mean the freak out? We don't know that. 
do we? You know, if you paid more attention to your work, you'd feel a lot better about yourself. Really? I know from experience. All right. You win. It's good to have someone to talk to. Now I'm going to make a swordsman out of you. The trick is to fight without drawing the sword. Beg your pardon? You heard me. Now watch. Here, your name is Susan Armstrong, born in Summit, New Jersey, Master of Arts from Vassar. And you want to learn the martial arts? Yes, sir. If you don't say. Shall I show you what I've already learned? Hmm. So you've had some previous training in grade school. You think you're pretty clever. I don't want to argue with you. What? Well, then why don't you fight? You got a deal. Let's see what you've been taught. <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> It was very funny. I knew a loudmouth like you once. She wound up with no eyes. This is no ballet class. Watch it. <laughs> Not funny, Sergeant. You're all right. You've got a lot to learn. Want to show me some leg work? Leg straight, waist firm. Uh, the other leg. Go ahead. That's fine for the Rockettes. Needs work. Now let's see you attack. All right, come on. <laughs> One, two, three. Watch carefully. That's how the grown-ups do it. Now this is the kind of style we're aiming at. Oh, what a wonderful lesson. You're cute. Susan, if you don't feel like working, we can quit. And you can transfer to another unit, sewing flags. Sergeant! This is a garrote. You know how to use it? Now you can try it on me. Or perhaps the sergeant would like his collar size reduced. Steady now. <clears throat> you sure came along in the nick of time. Thanks. <laughs> Lady with the secrets. Can't afford to lose you. See you. Uh, can I treat you to dinner? So, what do you say we, uh, we go Dutch? Picnic? Mm-hmm. Great. Love it. You're on. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, come on, I want to try something with you. In the middle of the park? Are you crazy? <laughs> come on, Carolyn. Come on, lie down. <laughs> Unhand me, you cat. <laughs> Like an orange? Later. How about a little game of catch? With that? Are you ready? <laughs> Let's have it. Go on. Okay, now it's your turn to catch. This way, sir. Well, Pasco, how's that new instructor doing? I've got my reservations about him. Frankly, I don't know why he's here, sir. We've had a perfectly good martial arts program here for years. I honestly don't see where we need someone from outside the camp. Has he introduced the self-hypnosis phase into his work yet? No, sir, he hasn't. He does practice some kind of mumbo-jumbo every day in the courtyard. But I think we'd better run some kind of test on him before we let him start teaching the men a lot of stuff we may have to unteach them. If you want to run a test on his technique, that's fine with me. But I want some results on my desk this week. You'll have them, sir. I want to have a man attack him. To test the pain response? Exactly. Good morning, sir. Hello. And then we want to take a look at the old sex drive. Susan Armstrong's preparing a seduction test which may prove very revealing. Mm. If he passes that with flying colors, then it may be safe Morning, to... sir. Mm. I think that makes a lot more sense than hitting our valuable personnel with a lot of untested oriental kinks. Well, then test him and get it over with. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi, tough guy. Hmm? In the mood for some wrestling? Oh, I forgot to salute. Cut the comedy. I'm really not amused. Oh, this isn't comedy. And if you don't believe me, look at this. <laughs> How do you like that little weapon? I don't want you training with any weapons until your leg work improves. Good morning, sir. I suppose you're going to tell me you were practicing self-defense tactics. Listen, sir, I... It's the newest Chinese teaching method. It's a little unconventional. Listen, I'm getting a little sick and tired of all the funny remarks. I didn't ask for this job. Easy right? does it, John. Susan, you really put your body and your soul into your work. Good for you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Penny, for your thoughts. What? Oh, oh, sorry. Tell me something. Okay. I don't know who's crazy. Everybody in a damn camp or me. Sexy Susan crawled all over me. When the colonel caught us in the act, he congratulated her on a good job. And that long-haired kid... Could we talk about something else? <laughs> mm-hmm. I really can't stand by and let this guy do what he's been doing to the recruits' morale. Everybody on the base hates him. Really? With one exception, that is. One of our key computer people. As a matter of fact, they spent the night together. I don't know what his game is with her, but I'll tell you this. It's got to stop. Hey! Hey, Next time I'll hit you goons with a court <laughs> 
Marshal! Hi, honey. Good morning, John. What have you got in the box? Little surprise for Wong. I've been looking for him all over. What happened to everyone? We usually work out right here at this hour. The men are all out on a field exercise. Whenever the colonel comes in, they have to show off. I wonder why nobody said anything. Hmm. Do you think... Hmm? I want to get to the bottom of this for once and for all. All right, man, reload your pieces! Hadn't we better go back? You can if you want to. I've got to find out where I stand. I hope you're doing the right thing. Ready, aim, fire! Hello, John. Morning, sir. What brings you here? Somebody told me it was Johnny Wong's birthday. I got him a little surprise. Oh, great. Wong, front and center. Yes, sir. Your tutor's got a little surprise for you. Come over here. Nice weather we've been having. They said this morning on the radio it might rain this weekend. Here, a present for you. Huh? I checked your record. Discovered you were born in the year of the rabbit. Go ahead, open it. Happy birthday, Johnny. You mean it's mine to keep, sir? Right. Gee, you're going to have to cut down on sweets. Oh, shucks. Look at the size of him. Hey. <laughs> Isn't he? A... Hope this will cheer you up a little. What? You think you can buy me off with a stinking rabbit? <gasps> get this and get it good. I'm sick and tired of you making fun of me. I swear to God, if you ever have the nerve to come near me again, I'll kill you. That's what I'll do. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Why do you do that? Why? Why do you torture me like that? If you give me one good reason, you son of a bitch. God damn it, Wong. Go. Come to your senses. <laughs> Don't try it. I'll get you for this. Come on, Caroline. You don't scare that easy. Hmm. Are you trying to challenge me to a boxing match? No. Wrestling. How do you like this hold? Mm -hmm. I like my holds a little closer. Do you really? Try it. You might like it. <laughs> what do you make of that business with the kid this morning? I told you there are things I can't talk about. Can't we leave it at that? Hmm. Why do they force me to come here and then do this? There are some things you just have to accept on faith. You don't really believe your country would bring you here with no rhyme or reason. I'm honestly starting to wonder. All right, you guys, look alive. Yeah, that goes for you, too. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Hey, fix your hat, man. Oh! I like it. Hey, what's the matter with you, John? Ain't you been getting enough sleep? I'm all right. I must have dozed off. Take off a little weight. I'll make a fight around here. Not as long as I got rifles. Hey, keep going. Nobody gave you guys permission to stop. Yeah, some college they must have went to. Wait. Oh. Good morning, sir. Do you like practicing what you're going to show your teacher this afternoon? Yes, sir. All right. Pretend I'm him. Oh, 
Listen, Wong. I told you the purpose of this test was to measure his resistance to pain. Now come on, hurt me. Oh. Listen, you're gonna have to do a whole lot better than that if you really want to hurt him. That's better. You've been toughening up just the way I said you would. I think it's about time you learned a couple of dirty tricks. Hey, nice work. I never knew you were such a pro, Pasco. Really? Thank you, teacher. Mind if I have a quick word with Wong? Have a slow one if you want. Thanks. Look sharp! Hey, you've got a lot of potential. I just wanted to tell you, when we run the auto-hypnosis test this afternoon and you attack me, I really want you to give it all you've got. Try to wipe me out. All right. I've got a little assignment for you. I want you to put the make on our martial arts instructor again. Thanks. I've done my last number with that gentleman. Well, don't you talk back. I won't say this again. You're expected to do exactly as you're told. Get your filthy hands off of me, you creep! I think you'll be disappointed after you run that test. If Mr. Liu comes through successfully, as I think he will, I'll expect you to apologize. Keep me regularly informed over the walkie-talkie. Yes, sir. prepared. I'm sending in the attacker. You laughed at me! Now die! Pretty good control, but he can't resist the girl. What's he made out of wood? Don't worry, it's only a matter of time. If he doesn't respond to this, he isn't human. He's starting to weaken. Good work, Susan. No, sir, I don't think I owe anybody an apology. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Pasco. The electrodes on his body haven't registered one change since he went into his trance. Okay, you two. I should have known better than to trust a couple of beginners to run this test. Get back to the base. You too, Susan. Sir, I think Susan may need another couple of toughening up sessions. Did I pass? You did. I even have to offer you an apology. Well, inasmuch as neither one of us is very thrilled about having to work together, I suggest we make the best of a bad bargain. What's that supposed to mean? I think... We can learn a lot from one another. There isn't one thing that I could learn from a civilian buddy. And I think the time has come for me to prove it. I accept the challenge. You may be in for a surprise. Why don't you just shut up and fight? <laughs> Last 
guy that got funny with me. Wound up with no eyes. Gentlemen, now that that test is out of the way, I hope you're satisfied that I'm legitimate. Are there any more doubts in your mind? I never doubted you in the first place. What about you, Pasco? I'm convinced, sir. So what's the problem, John? I want to resign. I can't teach self-hypnosis to Westerners. I doubt if anyone can. It's something you almost have to be born It's with. It's just a matter of setting your mind to it, and you've got a splendid mind. Sir, I don't think you've heard a word I've said. I can't possibly make this technique work. Hold on. You're just going to have to find a way to do it. That's what I meant before about him not having a military approach to things. You do as you're told. Otherwise, if you don't shut up, I'll... Let's simmer down, John. Why don't the two of you sit down and behave like civilized adults? Let's forget we ever had this conversation. We don't normally accept resignations from anybody. John, you're in the claws of the CIA. The claws of the CIA, indeed. Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous in your life? What am I anyway, a slave? That's not so far from wrong, John. What are you talking about? All I can tell you is that you belong to the CIA as long as they feel like using you. The best thing to do is accept it. Isn't there any way I can get away from them? I really shouldn't be telling you this. You know, we're not so far from the Mexican border. Planes leave Mexico City for everywhere in the world. I'm not about to become a fugitive. Why should I do that? I haven't done anything wrong. I think I might write a letter to the president. John, no. Don't you realize how important you are? You have no recourse to appeal to anyone. But this is worse than prison. They have no right to hold me like this. They have whatever rights they need. And the power to exercise them any way they see fit. I can't crawl over the border alone, like a hunted criminal. You won't be alone, John. You didn't think I'd abandon you at a time like this, did you? Not after all you've meant to me. Make sure you keep those classified documents well hidden. Nobody can touch us as long as we've got them. I've organized an interception detail. They won't get away. Let me come now. We leave for Paris next week. It was the first booking I could get. I don't like it. I don't feel safe here. John, look out! Thank you. 
Which is that? I wouldn't try that unless you want the lady's throat cut. Now hand over the harpoon. Move it! Are you all right? Start the ship. Sure you're okay? Yes. No! <laughs> Caroline! Caroline! I'm not gonna make it, John. Hatchcare's operations. Any more on the Liu case? We think we've tracked him down to Paris, sir. And what do you propose to do about that? We're having him shadowed day and night, sir. Sooner or later, he's going to have to lead us to that classified material. That was some pretty nice shooting, Pasco. We can't afford to miss him, man. Now, that kid must think he's hot stuff, but we know he hasn't got a... Sir, he just picked up his girlfriend's kid from the apartment. They seem to be on the way to his new school. Uncle John, Mommy said it was all right if I had an ice cream. Right. All I have to do is pay for it. Well, there's a place. Let's see what they've got. Well, what kind do you want? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, buttered almond with soy sauce? My favorite is coffee. Can I have coffee? Sure, but you get exactly one scoop. I don't want you to ruin your appetite. If you don't eat your dinner, your mother will hand us our heads. What's in the paper, Uncle John? What do you care? I take current events in school. CIA denies any complicity in the Mexico yacht murder. Bastards! Waiter! Oh, excuse me. Uncle John, come on! I think we better move on. I'm not fond of our fellow diners. We've tracked him to the tourist boat dock on the banks of the Seine, sir. You think he's planning to escape? On a tourist boat? No, I think he's waiting for somebody. Hi, honey. Hey, Mike, how you doing? It's his secretary and her kid, sir. Josette, I've got to leave Paris. They found me here. Maybe you don't have to leave. I have friends who can hide you.
You've got it. Bye. I'm afraid we'll have to ask you to come with us. Yeah, just keep moving. Everything will be okay. Just keep, keep moving. Yes, yes. Just oh, you think you are? Yeah, come come moving. Me. Oh, oh, no. oh. You get that kid under control. I'm from the CIA. Get oh. in here. Now you come here, young man. Hey, that's John's oh, Come on. 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 Come on.
This is official business, sir. Now, Here's my don't. identification. Oh, shit. Mr. Lou, if you don't want sore kneecaps, you better come with me. This just isn't my day. And now... <laughs> I've never had a case like this in my life. He swears he won't be Paris until he's settled the score with you. If you clowns want such goddamn amateurs, I'm heaven by now. Get to work. Ciudad donde vive James Liu, California, Estados Unidos. Dear John, what can I tell you? I warned you back in California that you're powerless to fight the whole CIA. Besides, what's the point of trying to take on the legitimate representatives of your country? Take my advice, turn yourself in, and return those classified documents. You say I got you into this mess, now I've got to get you out? Only you can get yourself out. Love, your brother, James. Maybe you can get me out, Jim. I think I may have to appropriate your identity for a little while. Can you book me on flight 128 to Barcelona? Hey, John, wake mm. up. Mm. Come on, John, mm. wake up. What time is it? Time to wake up. I get the message. John, Hang you on. teach me how to... Good morning. John, a messenger from the airline brought you this. Come on, Billy, let's play. Okay, <laughs> see you later, John. <laughs> These look like his glasses. His cheeks are a little fuller than mine. He parts his hair in the middle. James, I hate to do this to you, but you didn't ask my permission to get me involved in this crazy situation in the first place. I'm Mr. Liu. Yes, sir. I believe you have a message for me? Oh, yes, here you are. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Hello, sir. What the hell are you doing here? I 
I had myself assigned to surveillance duty because I wanted to see you again. I'm here on a top priority mission for the agency. I know all about it, the coach. Then I suppose you have some information where our subject is hiding. What do you mean hiding? We followed him from the airport. He gave us the slip. We know for a fact he hasn't flown anywhere else. He must be hiding. He wouldn't know how to hide. He's wandering around Barcelona like a perfectly normal tourist. Mm -hmm. He was just waiting for you to come along. Oh. You expect me to believe that? You can tell that story to the Marines. If the Marines wanted to engage Mr. Leo in combat, I think they'll find him in Anna's ceramic shop. I'll get you the address. Excuse me. Aren't you Mr. Pasco? I'd like to ask you about my brother. Oh, John Yu. You didn't expect me to believe that masquerade, did you? You're a professional. I knew you'd catch on sooner or later. Only it isn't going to do you that much good. You see, Pasco, I've come here to kill you. I came to do the same thing to you. As soon as you hand over those files, no way, you bastard. There's two kids without a mother, thanks to you and your wipeout squad. Don't get your insides in an uproar, my friend. I think it's time I taught you one or two hard facts about life. When brave men are fighting to preserve democracy, the occasional innocent gets caught in the crossfire. It's never pretty, but it's how things Nonsense. are. Nonsense. You're perverted. You're all sick. <laughs> you don't believe that yourself. When I release those files, it's the end of all of you. to use this gun. <laughs> All right, men, hold your fire. Is 
satisfied now? You'll be sorry you did this. You dropped your gun too. I'd like that briefcase back. Thank you. Now all of you, keep your distance. Don't anybody get any smart ideas. Well, you're the boss. Where do we go from here? You get on that aircraft and prepare for takeoff. Come on. Now listen carefully. I'm not going to say this twice. You contact the tower. Look behind you. you for the last thing I do. You guys taught me how to use these things. I see you're running out of oriental tricks. You kill everybody I ever cared about. Now it's your turn. I'll kill you any way I can. Nobody wanted to kill those women. You forced us to do it. You could have turned over those papers, but you had to be the big hero. I have nothing more to say to you. You'll pay for all those lives. If you don't want your men killed, then get them out of here. You heard what he said. Get moving. And shut the door. I think you're right, John. We've talked long enough. Go ahead. Kill him. Come on, shoot. Let's get this over with. That was an order. I said an order. I want this animal killed. Watch out. You know, I've learned to take orders now, and I've been ordered to kill you. But I won't need this pistol. Hm. I'll do you in with your own weapons. Once you told me to wipe you out. Now watch this! Ah! 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 Ah!
Just criminals. You're right. Now what the hell am I going to do? You already made up your mind. Hmm. What in blazes is the matter with this plane? What the hell are you doing here? Hands up. Sit down. Just keep your mouth shut. And you won't have any trouble. Wong! Mr. Chan told me to save the boat! Out, Wong! those papers. Hurry! I'll kill them all! Watch me take care of Mr. Liu. I don't understand why you gave him the papers. In a few minutes, those files won't matter anymore. You'll see. General, I don't think we need this pilot. He's got a parachute. Maybe he'd better use it. No way. You heard the man. Jump. I'll jump when I goddamn feel like it. You fellas have no right to order me around. You're a CIA officer. You better do as you're told. Your superiors are going to hear about this. I'm as superior as you get. Now jump or we'll toss out your body. You monkeys are going to pay for this. Just send the bill to our Washington office. I sure will. My God, how did this thing get in here? Throw this out the window. Colonel, Colonel what's wrong? Sometimes you have to get rid of vermin so that decent people have a chance to live. What happens to us now, John? We find some place where the two of us can start again. Long to coin a phrase, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. 